Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's video. It will be very brief. It merely serves as a moment of inspirational thought on YouTube's ranking algorithms and methods. What is this freedom of speech truly worth if machines prevent your word to be heard? And that is a question I am truly asking myself right now. For just a moment ago, I was googling book 8088 videos. And surprisingly, some come from China being produced there. This is no big surprise. And I was hoping to find something interesting, something inspirational, something I might want to watch, you know, in particular outside of the DOS and Windows world. And what did I find? My own video on the Minix system and C compiler just on a website called Bilibili. Being there is perhaps not all that surprising and certainly an honor given that YouTube is blocked in China and for this to be enjoyable to many people it would perhaps have to be copied somewhere. So that does not upset me. What however caught my attention is the interesting fact that there are more than double as many views than on YouTube, although the platform itself is much smaller. So there are those which are accusing Western technology platforms of a certain form of hegemony, that videos from certain countries will be preferred, whereas those of others will be languishing. And for me, not being by provenience from one of the major Western countries, that was, let's say, an interesting moment to note that in China, this same video is more than twice as successful. I don't know whether that is something that should be considered. I don't know whether these algorithms should be adjusted. It is, however, something I do wish to note. And I am leaving you here with your own thoughts. My impression of YouTube, in consequence of this, though, I certainly have made. Thank you, and goodbye.